you're going to start selling on eBay, an easy way to get started would be to use eBay's uh, Sell Your Item form. Uh, it's very easy just to, to list something uh, right on eBay through their web page, but it can be a little uh, tedious after a while when you've started listing a few things, uh, having to click around on many different web pages and going back and forth. Uh, uploading your images through a web browser can also be quite tedious. So uh, eBay's come up with a couple of different tools. Uh, one is called Blackthorn Basic, and the other one is called Turbo Lister. However, these only work on the PC uh, under Windows. If you're on a Mac, you're kind of out of luck as far as eBay official tools go. But fortunately, there's a better alternative, and that's called Garage Sale. And that's what we'll be demonstrating for this session. Now, uh, Garage Sale is a full-featured eBay listing tool for the Mac OS, and it's uh, from a company called I Was Coding. Let's get started. Here you can see the garage sale interface. Uh, on the left here are all the templates that uh, I have set up for you know, all my previous auctions that I've, I've listed. Here's where you uh, have the description and this is where you set the specifics for the auction before it launches. I'll go ahead and start a new template for this demonstration. Uh, before you launch a listing it's called a template and the reason being is that you can launch multiple listings off the same template. Uh, right here is the iPhoto, uh, or any, if you want to have photos on your listing, you can put them here. You can import them from iPhoto, uh, from a camera, image file, you can specify image URL, or actually directly import from your eyesight, if you have one of those. So what we'll do for this one is just uh, add a photo from iPhoto. I prefer to group all of my photographs for different items into their own albums. You can see right here I have one for a uh, chandelier, and all I have to do is just double click on the album name and they're added to my list of photos that I want to import onto my listing. I'll click OK to import them, and you can see them show up here. It takes a few seconds sometimes. To uh, specify which image you want to show up in the gallery for your listing, and for those of you that don't know, the gallery image for a listing is the image that shows up to the left of the title when your listing is shown in search results or when you're looking at all of the listings in a category on eBay. It's usually a pretty good idea to have a gallery image with any listing you put up because it allows people to have a basic idea of what it looks like before they actually go to the listing. Uh, to have a gallery image, I can just drag the image I want over to this gallery box right here, or I can also select the image and click on the gallery icon here, and it'll toggle between uh, whether or not I want it in the gallery. So uh, I've actually already written up a description for this lamp uh, right here. I'll just copy and paste it. There's my title. It'll tell me how many characters I have left uh, as I type, which is kind of convenient. And my description, just have a basic description right here. Copy all that. And one of the neat things about Garage Sale that is that it allows you to edit your description in uh, real time through uh, using HTML and Apple's WebKit. Right here is a checkbox that uh, tells Garage Sale whether or not to automatically convert my description into HTML. Uh, going from the way it looks here or if I want to actually code the HTML myself. If I want to code the HTML myself, I make sure this box is unchecked. And if I want to have a live update of the description while I edit it, I click Template, Edit Item Description. And to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, I'll just do it. Uh, if I want to make the like a list for features, I can just start writing in HTML. And it automatically shows me every time I type what the description will look like when it's rendered in a web browser. Which is kind of nice. I'll go ahead and click OK. Alright, so we've got a, a 
pretty decent description right here. Yeah, finish off that paragraph. And now we're ready to start specifying the specifics of our listing. First thing we want to look at is the category. So I'll click on this magnifying glass to bring up the category selector. And here's every single category on eBay. Might be a little daunting to have to find the one that we want right here. So uh, you can go into a hierarchical view and uh, so select very generalized to very specific uh, category. So I'm guessing this lamp would, or chandelier would be in home and garden. Uh, probably uh, lamp sliding ceiling fans. that. Uh, it's kind of, there's a lot of different categories on eBay, so it's kind of hard to find the perfect category right off the bat. You can also search for uh, the category name that you want right here. So uh, I'm going to find a chandelier. There we go. So we don't need jewelry and watch chandeliers. Looks like the right category for us. Oh, no, that's a ceiling fan. Hmm. I guess we'll try this one. You can also set uh, attributes for items in directly in garage sale. Here, there's not a whole lot, so um, just click OK. Set the uh, duration for probably seven days would be good. Set the starting price at $29. Uh, shipping, we want to specify local pickup only because this is a large bulky item. We don't really need it. However, Garage Sale does offer uh, pretty much the full suite of shipping specifications right here. It can uh, have it calculated for you or you can specify flat shipping rates any one of these different services from uh, US Postal Service or UPS. Exactly like what, what you get on eBay's sell your item form. Anyway, we don't want any of these because we're going to offer local pickup on the lamp. Set all your payment options here. Advanced, a uh, little more specifics over here. Uh, if you have an eBay store, you can tell garage sale to list it in your store. I have all these categories set up in my store. Uh, your categories may vary. I uh, probably don't have a category set up for chandelier lamps, so I'll select other. I have a numbering system for all of my items, and um, my number is 2788. You can pretty much put anything you want right here. I just like to put uh, my own numbers here for my own purposes. schedule your item. Let's schedule it for Sunday, uh, May 6th at 9 o'clock p.m. I guess 7 seconds is alright. Make that even 9 o'clock p.m. Set the a.m. and p.m. to the lower right corner of the clock here. Click OK. Our item is scheduled. You can select which uh, eBay site you want to list your item on here as well. I should note that uh, if you do plan to list on eBay Motors, uh, they are another site just like eBay Spain or eBay Italy. There's eBay Motors USA. Um, I'm not really sure why they did that, but that's just the way you have to do it if you want to sell cars or car parts on eBay. But uh, we're selling a lamp, so we'll just select eBay USA. Um, that's all we need there. and. The auctions tab here is if you want garage sale to automatically list your item. Uh, you, um, I generally don't use it. I just uh, use eBay's uh, scheduler right here. Uh, if you want to leave garage sale open uh, and so it'll list your item when you want it to, you can go ahead and add your auction here. But we're not going to use it for this au auction. 
Okay, looks like we're ready to go. Last thing we want to do is design or pick a design for our listing. Uh, right now, there's no design selected, but if we want to use any of uh, Garage Sales design templates, you can uh, click on this previews tab right here, and it'll show you what your auction will look like before you even list it, which is kind of nice. Here we see uh, we don't have any templates selected, so it looks kind of plain. And uh, you know, it just depends our images directly to the bottom. Now, you might be wondering to yourself how Garage Sale manages uh, adding images to your listing. Uh, it can use eBay's uh, picture service, which will, um, the first picture is free, the second picture is 10 cents, and, and so on. Uh, you can also use, uh, this, this makes Garage Sale almost worth it in itself, you can use Garage Sale's free picture server, and it allows you to store uh, up to 10 images per listing. And uh, it's a great deal. It's it's free. Uh, you can make your images a lot bigger than eBay's picture service. Um, I don't see any reason not to use it unless you want to have more than 10 images with your auction. Uh, if you do need more than 10, you can store it on .Mac if you have that configured on your computer, or you can upload it to an FTP server of your choice. Uh, here are all the settings for FTP server that I have set up. Um, you know, if you want to do that, go for it. It also has support for WebDAV, um, which is a little simpler to configure if you have a WebDAV server. Uh, for this auction, we'll just use Garage Sales Free Picture Service. I've used it for several of my listings, and it's it's been great. Haven't had any problems at all. Um, I should close that. All right, now let's select a design template. Right, there's just a, a gob of these. Don't have time to go through all of them, but. Uh, you can get an idea by looking at you know, these ones I'm scrolling through, what, you know, how, what the variation is like. There's, there's just a whole bunch. Um, I'm just going to take my time a little bit and, and look through them to see which one I like the best. I usually like big pictures with a simple layout. That looks pretty good. Sometimes it might take a while to render your listing when you select the template, or the design template. Well, here it is. Uh, you also have some control over uh, how the images are placed on the template. As you, as you can see here, uh, the preview is a little bit different. It has the images to the right, and uh, when we actually see it in Garage Sale, it has the images on the top. Uh, you can change this by just right-clicking and selecting uh, just anywhere on the preview where you want the images. Uh, I like how it has the images on the right, so I'll select that, and it'll re-render it for me. And those are small images. Let's see if I can select a, you know, larger images. There we go. It's really good. I like that a lot. Nice and simple. You have the, the text and you have the pictures here. Looks like I'm ready to go. So, last thing I have remaining to do is just click on the Start Auctions button right here. And Garage Sale will take care of everything from here on. If you have more than one eBay uh, account configured with Garage Sale, uh, it'll ask you which one you want to put it on. Um, I'm just going to click Start. And it's uploading my images to the eBay server right now. Actually, it's uploading my images to the Garage Sale picture server. And then when it's done with that, it will upload my listing to eBay. Since I have a scheduled listing, I can't see it uh, without logging into eBay first, so I'll just log in.
This is actually a web browser built into Garage Sale using Apple's WebKit. And here you go, this is the live, well, not quite live listing, but it's, uh, we're looking directly on eBay now. And this is listing as it will appear uh, Sunday at 9 o'clock. So it's a little, little small viewing an entire web page within Garage Sale, so uh, you can actually go to the auction menu and select Show Auction in Web Browser to open it in uh, your default web browser. Now it's just going to open this up in Safari. And I'll be able to see the full page right here. Huge images. Something you can't, you just can't get with eBay's listing tools. I'm really happy with the way that turned out, and hopefully I'll get several thousand dollars for it. <laughs> I can always hope. But uh, thank you for watching, and this has been uh, Thomas Halleck demonstrating uh, I Was Coding's Garage Sale. And uh, don't forget, you can get Garage Sale uh, by going to IWASCODING.com and clicking on the Garage Sale button. Right here. Thank you for watching.